good morning. This is Raylene with Roots Restored Wellness and I hope that you are having an amazing day and week. I can say I'm so excited. Um, there has been so much that's been flooding me in the past week and excuse me, I'm still detoxing <laughs> from taking blue iodine so I'm really stuffy today and I have kind of a lot of stuff in my throat so I sound a little off but I'm still here. Oh my gosh. It feels like I lived a lifetime in the last week, honestly. All the information that has been flooding in. And I'm curious to know if you've had any big revelations this week. If so, please share them with us. I'd love to know what you're experiencing and maybe it can be something that will help someone else. And that is why I often try, I try to be very open and share things even though they may sound a little bit out there for a lot of people because I started where you were once where I was very asleep and contained in a box and I was not willing to let my mind believe anything besides what I had been what I call indoctrinated to believe through <clears throat> I grew up Catholic the Catholic Church and the school systems all of this and so I've really spent the last two years trying to break down those boxes and just like really um, tune in with my spirit and what does my spirit feel and know. Awesome. I love the word mass formation. <laughs> um, so that's really been happening for the last two years or more for me, but I feel like it super happened this week. So I have a lot to talk about. Let me set my little timer here to try to stay on time. And... <clears throat> Wow. Okay. So this ties on my live from last Friday. So if you missed that one, go watch that one. I think it's episode 23 on my YouTube channel, which is Roots Restored Wellness. I will post this there as well. And I'm like, where do I even start with all this? So we've had on the Schumann Resonance, a lot of light codes flooding in. This is where you would see white. Typically that is information that's coming in. People who are receptive and ready to receive can receive mass amounts of information and then can you integrate it or not? Um, I think I've been integrating it. So, hey, Catherine. So, okay, I have so many notes. First, let me just start off by saying I've been seeing this like repeated numbers everywhere. Before I got on this live, there was 777 um, people. It was like, and then it was 1010 and I just, my phone will flash constantly when you get a message and your phone is black, but then it flashes a number and it's just flashing the same numbers over and over. And I used to ignore this because people would say, oh, those are angel numbers. And I thought they were crazy. This is me and my old boxing thinking. And then I realized, I think there's something to these because how many times can I see one, 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 and one before it's statistically impossible? I'm not seeing the clock every day at 1.35. It's one, 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 and my phone flashes at that every single day in 11, 11. It's constant, and I just happen to look at the clock when it's like 11, 11, or 10, 10, or I see 11, 12 a lot, and 12, 13. So I just... I don't know, there's something to those numbers. So if you feel like you're seeing the same ones, maybe that's a message from you. And so let's start off with this first by we're going to talk about the matrix. I started on this last week. I don't know if it blew your mind or not, but I felt like I woke up on Tuesday of last week and I felt like I was living in hell. That it was the worst possible news I ever could have received in my whole life that everything I'm experiencing is really a lie and it's fabricated. My husband told me that Elon Musk said there's a 99.9% .9 chance or something, don't quote me exactly because this is for my husband, that we're living in a simulation. And he said, I don't know how that's possible. Well, I really do think it is. And sometimes I have a huge, um, just inner part of me that's saying you have to watch this movie or you need to do this. And so this weekend, occasionally when it's cold out, we will watch a movie on the weekend. And I felt like I had to watch The Matrix. And I've seen it maybe 20 years ago. We had all the DVDs and we could not find anything we needed this weekend. It was like all missing. So I bought the 
we rented it and I was taking notes and I'm like, my family is like, why do we always have to watch documentaries with you? <laughs> I'm like, cause I don't have time to watch anything for pleasure. I'm like here for a mission and I have a lot of information I need to get. So it was very profound. It did help me in what the mission that I did last night with someone else. So craziness, but it's so real. Um, think of the Matrix movie that's really happening. Okay, that is what we're in. And I don't know if I'm gonna share all of these because I think some people are going to freak out. And I don't think you're ready for all the information. So I'm just gonna share some of these and then I want you to start asking questions about other things that come to mind if it's a matrix program or a matrix overlay. And so some of them, I started doing a list and then there's thousands of them, pretty much everything. So the earth that we're on, standing on, is a matrix overlay, but there's also an earth outside of the matrix. So there's things inside, and there might be the same outside, but they're different. They're not controlled. Just like crystals are inside, but they're also outside. As a matrix overlay and program, I think what they're doing, because we've read about how powerful um, crystals can be and how they can fuel like whole cities, the amount of energy that's within them, but we really haven't experienced that. I feel like what we've experienced is this tiny little mitering of wimpy energy so that they, we think that they're doing something and we're like, oh, we're powerful. Oh, we're doing this. Look at this herb or look at this, you know, whatever it is. We're experiencing healing. Like people have experienced healing with me doing quantum healing work. And, but it's all in the matrix and it's all, the power should be unlimited and it's this much. And there's a few people who can like access where they can start using this much power in the matrix. Um, things like our organs, our physical bodies, hunger, fat, matrix overlay, um, past lives, our fi um, children, sex, um, there are love-based unions outside of the matrix, but sex would be inside matrix program overlay. Dimensions. So I realized, you know, remember I've been talking about the dimensions as a way to try to quantify like inside and outside the matrix and 13D is outside the matrix. I just realized that's what that meant last Friday. Well, I erased, as I've been finding all these overlays, I clear them. Some of them clear immediately, like the dimensions. Now I can't access any dimensions anymore. And then some of them are still here, like pain is an overlay, but it's still here. Sickness or stuffiness, toxicity overlays, but they're still, we're still experiencing those. Um, COVID, matrix program, pharma, um, the flat earth and the globe earth are also overlays, except for flat earth is also outside the matrix. Schools, electronics, celebrities, all abuse, ritual abuse, the moon. Moon is a matrix construct. Outside of the matrix, I don't think that there's darkness. Um, airplanes, boats, your house, um, temperature, DNA inside and outside but it's a construct inside. And I had this revelation about DNA and genetic mutations. Think of this whole system like a computer. I spent a while yesterday just writing out all the different parts and pieces of computer systems. And what they wanna do when they would like to bring you down or keep your vibration low or cause a glitch for you, they will insert a genetic mutation into your DNA and cause a problem. And then you're gonna have this new ailment to deal with for the rest of your life or imbalance. And then the doctors are like, well, there's no cure for you. I fix those. I can't say it because I'm not a pharmaceutical trained medical doctor, but I can say I've released imbalances that are contributing to DNA genetic mutations in the body. I can say it that way, I guess not get sued maybe. Um, crypto, gold and silver, currency, Egyptian karma, karma is an Egypt or is an overlay fatigue sleep uh, oxygen the elements dreams inside and outside the matrix i had this amazing revelation when i was talking about the truman show on friday how it's a, in a, they pretty much showed us what they're doing to us and what did they use to keep him locked in his cage trauma they created this trauma trigger within him 
I feel like they set these traumas within our lives to keep us in bondage, to keep us held back. And then we're never able to break free or realize who we really are because we're stuck and held captive and prisoner by this trauma, these trauma triggers. And have you ever heard people say, I feel paralyzed by trauma? Trauma, matrix overlay. And I think they use our dreams a lot to download and upgrade us in their computer system. You may have had these weird dreams and people are like, oh, it's just like organizing your thoughts for the day. But then we might get some dreams that feel different and lighter. And I think those are dreams that, oh, this is a beautiful, I was like, I love this. So outside of the matrix, there are so many benevolent beings that are rooting for us to break out. And many of us came here to break this dang system down because all they're doing is they're harvesting energy off your soul. They don't care about anything else. They just see you as energy. Watch the matrix when he realizes that they're all being used as batteries to um, fuel these machines. It's essentially what they're doing to us. So they just need our soul energy. And they are harvesting it whether you want it or not. <clears throat> and so dreams and these angel number codes, this I believe is information coming from outside the matrix by benevolent beings to try to help us waken up and push us to realize what we're experiencing. Because if you don't realize that it's a matrix, how would you ever get out? You have to first, you know, like with addiction, realize it's a problem, and then you can work on these to assist you. And I wanted to talk, there's so much to talk about. Um, let's talk about them sucking the energy out of us. I did a mission yesterday and I'm working with another team differently than I was in my last missions. This just kind of randomly fell together and I wasn't anticipating that we were even going to do a mission yesterday until it just started. And the, the clock kept like flashing, you know, it was like 10, 10, 11, 12, and all this was happening. Like it felt like time had collapsed in of itself in a way where it didn't seem like it had been an hour where the clock was flashing at me. And so I just felt like I was supposed to look up those numbers and I did get an important message. But what we found is that there are cubes, there were cubes all over the earth under the ground. And these cubes were acting as the mainframe power centers for, so they, they have the matrix and they're taking energy outside of the matrix to use it outside of the matrix. But we're also feeling the matrix construct within. So inside and outside, we're feeling this. And so they have all these cubes. There's black cubes and there's also red cubes. They're under specific locations. My son keeps talking about volcanoes needing to blow up. And he goes, I had a dream last night where I was actually in a volcano and exploring it. And I asked him, well, what was the name of the volcano? And he said, I don't know, but it was G-E-D-E. -E. And so I looked it up and that's literally a volcano. And he told me that all, I'm not, well, does this even matter? It doesn't matter. So he gave me a list of volcanoes and I wrote them down. They don't matter. But he's like, keeps telling me Mount St. Helens has to blow, mom. Like it has to blow. And he goes, pray for it to blow. The, the bad people are trying to stop it. Well, they, there's some sources who say that they see aircraft coming and going out of the volcanoes. And the, I came across this yesterday watching a random video about the sun flares where there's all these, what they look like crafts flying around what they would call the sun right now or they think there's a battle going on. And so it just kind of fit all in. Again, I'm still trying to process this, so please use discernment. I teach you how to muscle test, make sure your light score is 100, and start asking these questions. We are called to be researchers. Don't accept the um, scientists as your God and just blindly follow whatever they say without asking any questions. We are called to be questioners and ask questions about everything. So muscle testing can help you start getting some answers. And I've showed you, I have a 10 minute YouTube video on how to be grounded, how to get correct information. Make sure you're not getting any outside influence in your answers. But these cubes, we're all under the earth. And I realized that there was one in my house and my friend found out that they had placed these in 2019, which is right when I started to wake up, when I started to realize that 
there was more to life than just this rat race we're running, like literally a rat race. We're like rats in a cage, right? Running around, um, just burning energy for what purpose? Not to benefit us. And she had one under her house. And I did Transformers, Black Cube, and it's like, there's so many movies and so many reflections of cubes all over. Mecca, um, is it the Jews something where they wear the black cube on their pineal gland? There is the satanic worship and they follow the black cube of Saturn. If you start researching, there's so much tied in with, and then there's something about the red cubes. And I just started to read about those, so I can't really share what I would feel like would be accurate information about that, but research it for yourself. And I was like, okay, I have to take down the mainframe system of this computer. Like, we have to take down the matrix. Like, we have to. This is why we're here. This is why I'm here. I'm here to, like, blow this thing up. And <clears throat> so these cubes were fueling it. And I'm like, how are we going to take these out? Like, we need to find, like, the mother cube, the mother board. And I found one, and I collectively ask souls from all over the earth like I gave them instruction I said this is what we need to do with our energy this is what we need to um, all do at the same time and so we did it and we sent this incredible blast of energy into this cube and it sucked it in and it was like nothing happened and it just ate all of our energy like it wasn't our energy we are getting energy from our source creator but I was like hmm, okay reverse time back up let's not do that and there's got to be another way. Well, somebody on my Telegram channel, it's such an awesome place. I love, I love the people there. And she shared like in the middle of the night, yes, the cube is a cross unfolded. And that's why I got rid of all crosses in my house because I felt like it's just a mockery of us. You make a cube by the cross shape. But she shared something about these, I think it was the fountains of Hagar, and they're, they were very healing because they are pure love, unconditional love. And it just popped to my mind that this is the answer for the cubes. And this information is um, scrambled and protected so I can share it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sharing it. We flooded the tunnels. You know that there's tunnel systems under the earth and they have been used for horrific atrocities. They're harvesting our children. They are um, abducting people. They're just doing horrific things with these tunnels. And I was shown that we needed to flood the tunnels with this fountain of unconditional love. And I didn't know what was gonna happen. I just knew like, okay, this is what you do. And I didn't really ask any questions because I just knew in my spirit, this is what you're supposed to do. And so we did that and I had to go back in time one million years and I used to believe that the earth was only 10,000 years old. So now I'm like, I don't know because I'm having to go back so far for some of these missions and like start the flooding process at that time. You know, it's going to take a long time for this fountain to flood all the tunnels that are under the earth. There's, they said if they drained the oceans into these tunnels, the oceans would drop by a third or something. It's a massive amount of tunnels. And so go back in time and essentially it flushed this negativity and all these horrors and abuses out of the tunnels and transmuted those into just unconditional love. And then we finished that and a few minutes later, um, we thought to ask, okay, like what percent of these cubes are transmuted? We knew that we had to change the cubes into diamond energy and I was just like, I don't feel like I'm smart enough to figure this out. But I know that there's like people and things outside of the matrix trying to help us. So now I'm trying to be more aware and cognizant that I could be getting message from on the outside, just like in the Hunger Games, where they have the dome over them, but then they're getting messages and help from the outside. A lot of people would call those angels. But there's other things than angels out there. Angels are definitely helping us. And so they're dropping in these little nuggets and little things like, here you go, Let you help. we need to help you figure this out. Let's go, let's get on it. And so we realized that the cubes were transforming to diamond just by flooding it with love. It wasn't like a battle, starship, you know, heavy war going on. It was just, we literally used this fountain of, I think, Hagar, and it just started to use unconditional love and it was transforming all the cubes that it was touching. And then when I cleared, 
the dimensional overlay, I was still able to read people's vibrations. So I found that there was a lot of people who had um, positive vibration. And then with these portals opening, it seems like a division occurs. And then I found a lot of people with negative vibrations, like below zero. And this morning we checked people's vibrations. Everybody's positive. And what I realized is that when we dissolved these cubes and transmuted them to diamond crystal energy, they were essentially under every single human or person sucking energy out of us using that for fuel as well. They even had it like my house was very shielded and protected and high energy. They had one sucking energy from my house. And so people who were weaker or didn't have as much sovereignty or inner strength or light, they were not able to maintain a positive vibration when, you know, the division, this, the veil thinned and we could really see what was going on. The veil is very thin around the fall equinox, which is Shamion or Halloween. So we could see this division. And so that sucking energy out of these people and pulling them down because they didn't have enough positive or light. They hadn't stepped into who they really were enough to be able to with still rise, even though they're sucking energy out of them. So I hope that's clear. We found this morning that everyone that's a human or what we would consider human, that's not like, um, there's different types of demons or beings that masquerade as humans, but they're really not and they're soulless beings. So not those ones, but the people who have a soul, we found, we haven't found any yet. <laughs> My screen says one, two, three. Um, I'm on the right track. But it, everybody was positive. And I just like wanted to cry this morning. I'm like, oh my gosh, these people who have been thinking that there's something wrong with them and that they're just not good enough and they can't pull themselves up. No wonder they are sucking your life force energy out of you and pulling you down to a lower vibration. And so I feel like we've been set free of that. And it's so exciting. And then we were, I felt like we were supposed to do another part of the mission. And again, very powerful. We both had incredible chills and I have them even speaking about this. Doing this, I was shown that we needed to connect the trees and the plants back, put their roots down into these tunnels that are filled with this unconditional love, living water. It's the living water has been restored. And so, um, we just spent some time like reconnecting the roots and letting them just, they've been so starved, so abused and letting them suck down and just completely absorb this beautiful living water to bring new life. You can see the poor trees, they're struggling. They are inside and outside the matrix. I feel like outside they look beautiful and lush now, but the poor ones on the inside, like they keep dying for me. And I'm like, I love my trees, stop dying. I baby them, I like put energy into them and they still just struggle. And the trees, we have no idea what they've done for us. Um, if you look in the movie Avatar, which I think is more of a documentary, the things that they get from the trees is like their life source energy. It connects them all. It's a whole connected ecosystem. And our trees have been abused. They've been absorbing the toxins and the pathogens that they have been trying to kill us with and make us sick with. And so they have held so much trauma and I was very emotional when I was working with the trees because I could feel like immense grief that they had been holding in for so long and they had been holding in this and just holding these burdens for us so that we could try to figure this out, okay? And try to set them free as well. And so I just, I told, like my son told me I'm fire and then my friend who's doing work with, she's water and she's like the living water. And I was like the refining fire in this mission. And I told them, I'm like, just release all the trauma and grief. And I saw these little black balls of negative energy just like floating off of them. 
and I was burning it with the refining fire, just like dissolving it and transmuting it. And then I put like the pure sun, like warmth, the real sun, sun is a matrix overlay, but it's also outside the matrix. But I put this um, real sun light on them and just watch them be able to access this living water from below and this life-giving, warm, healing light from above. And I saw them grow. Like, it was like they grew up into the cedars of Lebanon in the Bible. And it was such a beautiful, emotional, um, powerful experience. And we were just like chills coming through us. And that was all of our mission But it, yesterday. But I felt like it was so beautiful and so powerful. <sighs> I wanted to end with this because it's just beautiful, but I have other things I needed to talk about. Um, this morning, my friend said that we needed to transform the word meta, which means death. They've actually trans or they've actually changed, you know, Facebook's name to meta. Some people are saying it means the death of Facebook, which it could be. But she said, why don't we transmute that name? So I transmuted it into light. So if you say Meta, now it's like the frequency of light. No more death talk. And there's all this death talk, like deadline and dead weight and nail in the coffin and all these phrases to remind us that we're dead and we're nothing. But we're just going to transmute all that. We don't have to deal with this. And something I was made aware of this week about, let's talk about twin flames. I've had clients before where they've been stuck in a very toxic relationship with their twin flame. And I have, I always felt in my soul like there's, you're not supposed to be in this type of situation. And it was verified from another source this week that a lot of times narcissists, which I think are soulless beings, will use that twin flame. They'll send out that false energy of the twin flame to make you think that they're your twin flame. So you subject yourself to a life of trauma and torment. Oh, my baby's screaming. Let me go grab her real quick. And then you are stuck, right? You can't um, like really be who you were supposed to be because you're stuck in this traumatic cycle relationship. And I will say I'm not married. Um, my son is actually my twin flame. And I'll talk about that. But let me go grab. Can you get her? Okay. Oh, my husband's going to grab her. He's not always home. But usually usually she's... Hello. Sorry about that. Um, it looks like it kicked almost everybody off. I'm going to keep going, though, because you can watch the recording on YouTube. And maybe I should just record these. I like... The people in the interaction so it's frustrating hello hopefully this will stay on now okay I'm gonna keep talking so anyways my son and I are twin flames I realized this this week and we don't have a, rom a romantic relationship what it is for me and him is that he's actually part of my soul like we're actually the same being but we're different on earth. It was like I was split. And when we leave this place, I we will be one. So there's not going to be a him and a me. It's going to be a one being, which might be really hard for people to grasp. And what happened before my mission last night was really profound and powerful. He was up screaming from about 9 to mid 1230 about his ear hurting. And he was having, you know, he kept feeling like it needed to pop and I was doing some deep work on him. And at the core of his being, he didn't believe that he could be healed. He didn't believe that he could. He is very, I, it's very powerful having him. Because you, this is something you notice with twin flames. They like bring out your shadow and like the worst part of you sometimes. And he, I feel like he does that. I'm like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> and I've always said he's my soul child because I felt that like, I could say that about him, but, and I love him and we are like so compatible, but then there's parts that just drive me crazy and we butt heads and he's the most stubborn person I know and it drives me crazy. And he will always say, I can't, I can't, and I can't do it. And I'm just so negative. And I, I'm like, I feel like I'm dealing with my inner child when I'm working with him. And I got that vision last night that he's 
like working with healing that inner part of me that is still this traumatized, wounded person. He never feels worthy enough. And it's not like we are doing anything, you know, harmful as parents. We're not perfect, but we're not like saying you're stupid or, you know, you're not worth it. I'm always trying to build him up and like, you're so good at this. Sorry, we're just going to have to bear with this and I'll post some. If you don't want to deal with it, just watch the recording on YouTube. But so we're talking about my son. And so I was working on such deep trauma and family inherited issues last night on him, trying to get him in a place to receive healing. And this is what I went through when I was so sick for 28 years and couldn't be healed. And then it came to me, sometimes you need to ask the question to yourself, do I need to learn something from what I'm experiencing right now right within his body? And like blast out what he didn't want. Or I said you could use a flowing, like whatever energy you want. And the first time he did it, he actually popped his ear. But kept saying, I have more. So he ended up popping his ear four times. And then he was still like, I can't do it. I can't do it. And I just kept. Okay, I'm going to do a recording. But they're trying to stop me from sharing this message. The matrix is glitching over my um, connections, not me. But anyways, I realized that I was actually working on myself and I had to do that before I was ready to do the mission that I told you about already. So it was super powerful and just like this realization that, oh my gosh, <laughs> I still had a lot of work to do. And so by the time I started my mission, he fell asleep and he slept through the rest of the night and he still said his ear hurt a little bit this morning. But normally I can fix that. So I was so frustrated, like, why can't I fix this? But it was that part of me within myself that still believed that it couldn't happen. And I needed to get that cleared to be ready to do my work. So if you missed the, some of the glitches, just I'm going to post this on YouTube on my YouTube channel. I might just start doing live recordings and posting them there so there's less interference. <sighs> A couple other things I wanted to talk about real quick, unless I get cut off and then I'll probably just end it. But there can be negative implanted people in your life. They're not real. Think of them as Mr. Smith's in the movie, The Matrix. They're implanted and they might seem really nice to you and that, oh, you know, we're friends or we're really connected and then they turn on you and they create this trauma in this like whirlwind inner turmoil cycle where you're like what's wrong with me why would they just abandon me or why would they just turn nasty with me all of a sudden and i've had this happen to a lot of people recently and once i realized and learned to ask were they negative implants it released this huge amount of burden and just failure feeling on my part that somehow I failed or did something wrong. They were actually implanted there to try to bring me down and to cause me to stumble and have problems. So if you're experiencing weird people or even in the past, look back and start asking, were those people implants? And then you can just let go of those people. Like they were set there. I know, I don't have any candles. I've got my shungite here. Um, but check that and you might be able to just release a whole lot of trauma that these people caused you including your twin flames were they an implant by these narcissist soulless beings that were there they can send energy to make you think that they're actually your twin flame but they're there to abuse you do not put up with that like i said i'm not married to my twin flame um he did come to me through my time still do this okay telling my husband about my problems here real quick I was actually shown yesterday a different way to break out of the matrix. I'm out of the matrix now. I think I'm at working in an avatar body now, which might, again, blow people's minds. I was thinking that I I'm like, okay, can I like go through a matter? But no, I can't. And I still feel everything. But it's like I'm operating outside of the matrix now. And I was shown, just like in the matrix, that people are integrated into this grid and that's where they're like putting information and energy into us. They're sending, you know, these like post-hypnotic suggestions through our brain. And so it took me a while to kind of just figure out how to get myself out of the matrix. Yesterday I was actually 50% out of the matrix and I was having a hard time staying grounded and my answers kept Every time I would get close to some really imperative information, everything would flip. It was like this like flip script. We're going to flip the script. Um, so if you get close to information and you feel like you get flipped back, it actually could be that you're on to something you need to continue to pursue because the matrix has programs 
in there to flip your script so you can't find the truth. So now that I'm operating outside of the matrix, obviously my phone and my connection is not outside and I'm technically Okay. So I was talking about breaking out of the matrix. And so obviously I still need to break my phone and my connection out so I get a clear channel because this has never happened to this degree before when I went live. But I saw it like a Minecraft game. I saw us boxed in where the more light you had and the more work you were trying to do to wake people up, the more like little black boxes they stacked up around you. So I had this like huge mass of black boxes. My friend had a bunch of black boxes and I would see people that didn't have the black boxes. So it was a matter of taking those down and there was a lot more to it. I actually have a, a matrix session this week. It's going to be way different than I've ever done before on disconnecting people, chakras, and meridians. We're going to try to like completely get you out of the matrix this week. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But they literally have everything running. So if you're still doing healing work inside the matrix, there's everything. There's programs, software, hardware, apps, mainframes, generators, blueprints, firewalls, spyware, bugs, implants, storage centers, drives, microchips, routers, transceivers, repeaters, operating systems, motherboards, chips, SIM cards, disks, shields, access ways, portals, doors, back doors, windows, replicators, scalar waves, scramblers, like all this stuff. Okay, and so I'm just going to end with, a, this is, I'm going to end here pretty much. Um, if you want more information, I'll try to go live again this week as I get more. I may post a list of all of those in and out of um, matrix constructs. And if you don't believe this, don't believe it, really. You can stay stuck in your matrix. Um, you can. Like, it's like the bird locked in a cage where somebody opens the door and they're saying you're free, but you're saying, no, I'm not. I'm gonna, I like this, like, I'm, I'm safe here. I prefer this place versus out there. You don't really know what's going on. And I don't have all the answers either. I'm just sharing my experiences. And I'm just sharing the information that I have to share. I know it's important. And I know we have to come to this realization to be able to break out. So it was a very sh a big shock to me. And you might be experiencing cognitive dissonance, which is also a matrix overlay. Um, consciousness overlay inside and outside though so there's one outside sacred geometry is a overlay of the matrix but it's also outside um, blocks on the pineal gland those are a matrix program I found that Atlantis and Lemuria were a matrix program um, I think again to cause trauma for us some of these things might be outside of the matrix as well um, all of this there's so much poverty sickness um, things that are also outside the matrix that are a construct inside as well, but they it's like a, a replication. It doesn't hold the true power. Rainbows, plasma, friendship, mythology, heaven, portals, vibration, ether, crystals, um, our senses, sacred geometry, birds, galaxies, the Schumann resonance. So all these are inside but outside the matrix. They are, or feel them or you can call on them for help as well. And to start to go within and realize, is this a lie? Does it feel like this is all there is? Or is there more? Was I created for more?